Hello everybody, my name is Moon Mogo, and today I will be showing you the Golem World mod. Alright, so as you can see, this mod implements quite a few new golems into the world of Minecraft. So starting off, you got just simple ones like the dirt and things that you might expect from a regular mod, but then it goes into kind of different stuff that I haven't really seen before in golem mods. So to actually make these golems turn into real working golems like the regular life iron golem, you are going to need a special item called the paper of awakening. So to craft that you need four redstone and four glowstone and a piece of paper in the middle but you can interchange the glowstone and the redstone it doesn't really matter for this mod which I think is a good thing for this alright so let's jump right into it so here we have the dirt golem he has 15 health and he deals 6 damage when he hits a mob well a average of 6 damage so let's go ahead and oh you gotta click on their pumpkin apparently so anyway here he kind of looks a little dirty, but and he's got some kind of hole in his chest. But let's see. I just hit him once. All right, took that zombie out in. Or I think that was around like three hits. So let's kill you off now. So two hits with the diamond sword apparently will take him out. All right, now let's spawn in the glass golem. So he looks quite cool and I like the fact that he is see-through that they didn't just kind of blur it out with like blue so you can actually see straight through him all right so he has 20 health and he will deal 10 damage to any hostile mob as you can see he just took that zombie out in two hits all right so two hits from a diamond sword and we managed to take him out all right, so now on to the sandstone golem. He has a lot more health than these past golems. He has 60 health and he deals 10 damage, just like the uh, glass golem. So let's spawn the zombie in, and let's see. Oh, this one's wearing armor, so it took him still two hits, but the zombie did take some fall damage. So now we have the gold golem he has 70 health and deals 16 damage when he hits a hostile mob so, alright so as you can see he's got remarkable pecs and let's see him just take out the zombie here alright so two hits and he took out that zombie one thing though is he is not a very resource efficient golem to spawn in because he will die quite easy alright so now we have the lapis golem he has 80 health, so just 10 more than the uh, gold golem, but he does a little less damage. He does 12 damage. Alright, so as you can see, he's he's blue, but he's still got those va vines and those pecs. So just hit him twice for fun, and let's watch him take out this zombie in two hits. Alright, let's finish you off. So now we have the most powerful golem of them all. That is the diamond golem. He has 80 health, which isn't the highest health, but he does the most damage. All right, so as you can see, spawn him in. He actually looks quite cool because they stuck with the original iron golem plan, but they kind of switched it up on some, which is nice. All right, so let's see him. He should have taken him out one hit. No? Yeah, oh, all right. When he hits the ground, that's just one hit. Alright, so I can't really show you the iron um, iron golem because when you spawn him in, he kind of glitches out and he turns into like a ice one or something. I don't know, it's just very weird spawning in the iron golem for me, but he has 100 health and deals 14.5 damage. Alright, now on to the emerald golem. So, he has 100 health and deals 16 damage to a hostile mob see this is one of the things I was talking about is he has the emerald emerald texture stretched across his chest which I think is a cool thing while still maintaining the regular kind of golem look all right where'd that zombie go all right he took him out in two hits all right now we have the clay golem he has a hundred and ten health and heals eight damage so 
even though he isn't the highest hitter, that, that is still very good because Clay is very, very easy to find. All right, so let's spawn him in. Oh, so <laughs> I like how he's all loopy because he's Clay and it doesn't really hold up too well. All right, let's spawn in a mob quick before he runs away. All right, moving on to the golem with the most health, the obsidian golem. He does 10 damage and has 150 health. So he will last almost like forever while fighting these mobs just because they barely get any hits on and he will take them out fairly quick. So as you saw that zombie didn't even do any damage to this golem. All right, let's see if he can take out three of them. Can you do it? Yeah, he's got it, and he didn't even take a single little bit of damage. Now we get to take him out. Alright, last up we have the Nether Rack Golem. This one's kind of special, and he does, he, he does his damage a little different than the other golems. He has 60 health and deals 10 damage, but to spawn him in, you need to light his shoulders on fire and then spawn him in. So as you can see here, he looks like a regular golem and he seems like he'd run up at them but when you actually spawn them in he shoots gas balls at them is he gonna do it yep he shoots gas balls at them that will spawn fire so you gotta be careful but they will do damage to the zombies so if you're gonna look for a long-range killer I would recommend him because he does a lot more damage than things like snow golems so you can just trap him in a fence and he will attack any hostile mobs that are coming towards your base all right i hope you all enjoyed this mod showcase if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and maybe even consider subscribing anyways my name is mutant mogo and i'll see you guys later